Hi, Starla here from Starla's Creative Teaching Tips, and we are doing the second set of regional terms, the terminology that helps you learn the body. Yeah, okay, so in our first set, we did cephalic, frontal, nasal, ocular, orbital, oral, mental, and buccal and buccal. All right, so today, we're gonna go down the arm. All right, so we're gonna do what's called the ABCs. A, B, C. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Ready? So the tip of your arm here is called the acromial region, right? Right here is the tip where your shoulder pads and football sit. Right here, the acromial region. Okay. Then down here, this is your axillary region. You can even take somebody's temperature here and then you add one degree. Okay. Yeah, I'm still okay. Are you? <laughs> okay, so we have acromial and we have axillary. So here's our A. Okay, then this top part, okay? Now, this is your trunk of your body, and these are your branches. And so in Latin, this is brachial, okay? B-R-A-C-H, brachial region for your upper arm because it's the branch. Okay, so there's your A, acromial, axillary, brachial, okay? Now right here at the fold of your elbow, on the inside of your elbow is called anti, not anti, and T, A N T E, cubital. But a lot of times we shorten it to cubital. So we have a cubital vein here we like to draw blood from. Okay, so here we go. We got acromial, axillary, brachial, and to cubital or cubital. Excellent. A, B, C. There you go. Okay, now the lower arm goes like this. This is anti, A N T E, brachial. It's a smaller branch of the brachial. Okay, now your wrist, made up of little eight chunky bones, is called your carpal. Now watch this. So, I know our goal in life, I, mine was, and I still love it, is to drive a car, C-A-R. And I love to have friends with me, my pals. So I drive a car with my pals. And these bones are called car pals, C-A-R. P-A-L-S, so I drive a car with my car pals. Yes, I do, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, let's go back up here. Who's this? Oh, excellent, chromial, axillary, brachial, antecubital, shorten it to cubital, A, B, C. Antebrachial, what are you driving a car with? Your carpals, excellent, okay. All right, now, your palm of your hand is exactly what it's called palmer yeah it's called the palm palmer just add an ar to it so this is your palm so you clap with your palmer yay okay now look at your thumb see it all right so your thumb is called a pollux p-o-l-l-e-x pollux now its cousin is your big toe isn't that neat in fact if we have people in the oil field or sometimes in the farming community who lose their thumb due to an accident, we can take the big toe, because it has the same muscle structure, and bring it up here. It's called a toe-to-thumb transplant. And the surgeons can wire that up, and through therapy, oh my gosh, we have an opposing digit. Um, it looks a little different for a while, but after the cell talk goes away, you really have to look close to notice that that's a thumb. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the thumb is called a pollux, and your big toe, your great toe, is called a hallux. And here's how you can remember them. You pump gas with your pollux, but you walk the hall with your hallux, which is spelled H-A-L-L. -L. That's right. Hallux. Pollux. Pollux. Pump gas with your pollux. Walk the hall with your house. All right, isn't that cool? Excellent, good. And the last but not least are digits. And your fingers and toes are all called digits. All right, now the bones in them are called phalanges, but these are called digits. Okay, here we go. Let's see what you got. I know you got the ABCs down. Here we go. Chromial, axillary, brachial, <clears throat> antecubital or cubital. Excellent, ABC. And to break you, what are you driving a car with? Carpal, excellent. Okay. Palmer, what are you pumping gas with? Pollux, what are you walking all with? Hallux, good. And what are these? 
digitals. You got your second set all down. Let me get the spelling for you. Ready? It only disappeared because it fell on the floor. All right, here we go. Second set. There it is. All right, do your 331, get it done, okay? And here's what's great. I don't care if you're in first grade, I don't care if you're in junior high, high school, college, or you're a medical student going, are you kidding me? I never learned them this way. Now I get it. Doesn't matter. Anybody can learn these. Hey, hope you had a great time. I'll see you next time with a fun lesson about sugar. Hmm, don't worry, we'll keep going with regional terms, all right? Please be kind to each other and to yourself and keep making a positive difference in the world. Talk to you later.